Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we dived into handling errors within nested routes. In this video, let's shift our focus to handling errors within layouts. Now we have understood that an error.tsx file will handle errors for all its nested child segments. However, there is a nuance when it comes to a layout.tsx component within the same segment. The error boundary does not catch errors thrown here because it is nested inside the layouts component. If you recall the visual representation of the component hierarchy for a given segment, you will see that the layout sits above the error boundary. Let's head back to VS Code to understand this better with a practical example. From the review ID route, I will replicate this error.tsx file into the product ID route. So copy and paste it within product ID. Now in the product ID layout.tsx file, let's emulate a random error throw similar to the logic we have in the review ID page. I will copy the random number generation function and the code snippet that throws an error if the random number equals one. We will change the text to error loading product. And to avoid any confusion, let's comment out the error throwing code in the review ID route. On reloading the page several times, we come across the error, error loading product, but there isn't an error boundary to catch it. Our app is now in a broken state. This is an important point to remember. The error boundary will not handle errors thrown in a layout.tsx component within the same segment. To navigate around this, we will need to place the error.tsx file in the layout's parent segment. In this instance, we move error.tsx from product ID folder into the products folder. Now on reloading the page, when we encounter the error, we observe that our app remains intact and the error boundary JSX renders in place of the products route. The header, footer, and any other UI elements if present higher up in the tree are unaffected. The placement of the error.tsx file plays a pivotal role in managing errors efficiently across different segments of our application. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.